Here's a quick update on the tragic collision in Washington, D.C. between a regional jet and an Army National Guard helicopter. The two aircraft collided just short of final approach for runway 33 at DCA. Here's what we know so far. DCA's airspace is busy, with two prohibited areas to the north, and Joint Base Bowling nearby. The regional jet CRJ-700 was coming in from Wichita, cleared for an approach to runway 1 before sidestepping to runway 33. This approach is tricky, especially with a short 5,200-foot runway. The helicopter UH-60 or VH-60 was operating out of Joint Base Bowling, crossing the Potomac River near the final approach path is a standard procedure for joint base bowling. Here's where the collision happens. The regional jet is making its approach to runway 33 and the helicopter comes in from the left resulting in the crash just below 400 feet. Let's check the ATC communication. Let's see if the 342 has a Wilson Bridge tank to turn for runway 33, runway 33 clear to land. Thanks for runway 33, uh, runway 33 clear to land. Let's see if the 342. Pass 25, traffic just stopped the Wilson Bridge with CRJ at 1,200 feet, start from runway 33. Well, that's a trip to start with special separation. Good separation, bro. Pass 25, get the CRJ in flight. Pass 25, pass behind the CRJ. This club has an aircraft in flight for special separation. Good separation. The tower cleared the helicopter to pass behind the CRJ, but the helicopter didn't see it in time, leading to the collision. Data shows the CRJ was on a stabilized approach. The helicopter, in training mode with three crew members on board, had no VIPs at the time. Both aircraft had TCAS, but it doesn't give a resolution advisory below 1,000 feet, which could have helped avoid the collision. Good weather conditions were reported, but investigators will look into whether the helicopter's transponder was working and if the pilot misidentified the aircraft. This is the first major U.S. aviation accident since 2009. As more information comes in, we'll update you here. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.